beat happy. Let's go. Come on. Hey guys, it's Pokwa and Camp is finally here and we are at Central University in Miocho on the 15th of August. 2018 as we come here to experience and encounter God. I believe we're going to experience and know God more. So stay back guys and enjoy the experience. Come on, Jehovah's here. Jehovah, you say it. Can see it is day one and you see the bus is moving and people are trickling in. There are a lot of expectations. This camp promises to be very, very exciting. And we are going with the team the day of his power. I believe, say it, say it. I believe, I believe you. I trust, I trust. Come on. In you. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Come on. Jehovah, you. Where y'all at? Come on, come on. I trust in you. I believe, say it. My name is Laura Korte and I fellowship at Calvary Temple ICGC camp. This is my sixth year at camp and it is amazing, like it's awesome as always. At camp, we come here to be empowered and we come to refill. To me, camp is like a filling station where I come to refill my spirit to take me throughout the rest of the year. And normally at camp, I like to wake up early with my friends up. We pray and then get ready as quickly as possible and get to church early. At camp, I try my best to involve myself in everything that goes on because I just like to work for God. I'm in the ushering department as well as the choir, and I'm also part of the dramatic arts. I do this not to be seen, but to partake in every aspect of the church. When Pastor Joel was imparting and I didn't fall down in quotes, I felt I was not receiving which is what normally people think but then he said something that made me realize that you don't need to fall to receive you can receive in different ways and you can easily miss it so after that i didn't even think of falling i was just receiving and that was just an amazing service for me this year's praise night was just amazing i mean if you've been here before you would understand what i'm talking about last year was powerful and this year was more powerful. Camp has empowered me with so many spiritual gifts. I walk with my friends in school and I see the difference. I can never come to camp and leave the same. There is always an impartation in me and I'm just so glad that I never miss camp because camp has given me a vision. It has made me see who I am through different ways and I know and believe that I'm going to influence my generation. I am a living testimony of camp. After long hours in traffic, we finally got here, Central University, thinking to have a normal service. But to our surprise, we had a prayer marathon. I thought everyone would have given up or something, but even though we were all tired, I could see 11-year-olds, 10-year-olds putting in an effort to pray. I myself was praying, and I was even surprised I was able to pray because I was really tired. So follow the highlights. You know that, you know that, you know that, you know that God is going to lift it up. Come on, give the highlights.
It's Thursday and as you know we started with the prayer marathon and our father in the Lord Dr. Reverend Anthony Kujo came to preach to us about the calling and oh my god it was powerful and he said any fights that we have to go through it's because of our calling and we received the blessing and later that afternoon we had Mama Ajua coming to preach to us about the Christian work and she said that we should follow Christ and no matter what and even brokenness even if we are in trouble or in doubt God is always there to be with us and to protect us in our times of need and that evening oh my god hey shababosi it was it was powerful we had pastor prince coming to preach to us and oh my god even his preaching just a few words and the rest was action in fact you should be there i don't want to say everything Tell somebody power, the power in you. Tell another person power, the power in you. Have all that you can ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. I did not only enjoy the worship, the praises, and also the food. Right behind me is the hostel. The rooms are spacious, splendid, and a whole lot. Just look at it. guys so it's friday and we started the day off with a huge spiritual impactation from pastor joel taki and the title of his message was i am a child of god hashtag manifestation and that truly was manifestation we received another mega spiritual impactation from reverend ismaila awudum and the title of his message was the spirit of great achievers and the achiever in me was really awakened Oh my God. Later that night, we had boys, boys, girls, girls, and I know you know what I'm talking about. All our questions on relationships were answered and received some really helpful tips. Watch it. Son of man was manifest that he would destroy the works of the devil. Every work of the devil in your life is being destroyed from today. There was something God placed in your life when he sent you to this earth. I declare that this is your season. This is your time of manifestation. Everybody you are 
have seen making it and have a name created their own platforms. The word is big enough for everybody to preach a tent. I challenge you as you are rising today. Don't say I am born in Africa. Don't say I am a Ghanaian. Don't say my father doesn't have it. Don't say my father have it. Don't say this is my school. Don't say this is not my school. Don't say this is my grave. Don't say this is not my grave. You can create your own tent because the sky is big enough for every bird to fly. I challenge you to believe in your dreams. I challenge you to rise up in your dreams. I challenge you to confront your dreams. It might not look like it, but hey, arise in your dreams. Hey, hey. Like we promised you, we are going to bring to you behind the scenes. We want to see what's happening in the dining hall. As you can see behind me, are uh, people that have queued up to go and have something to eat. Why don't you join us as we go in there and find out those who are eating all the food? Stay tuned, keep watching Omega Generation TV. It's Saturday and Saturday started with Elder Amos Kelvin Annan and what he said that blew my mind was a useless church is a useless church and in the afternoon we had Justice Gertrude Tokonu to come and preach to us about how we should follow Christ and the power of the marketplace and trust me it was wonderful I felt the power and it got to my heart and the last but not the least in the evening chai we had praise night with Pastor Ella. It was it was wonderful. Come and see dance moves. Eish. By the way, I don't want to say everything. I don't want to spill the beans. So come and watch with me. Young people are in the church. They bring refreshing. A youthless church will soon become a useless church. And so David tells us that blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. For when he meets his enemies at the gate, he shall not be put to shame. Because you keep the church flourishing. You keep the church fresh. You keep the church resplendent. You keep the church glorious. You keep the church the beauty it carries. And that is why the beauty you carry is not manicure and pedicure. It's not grooming, but it's holiness. When you are being a lawyer. When you are being a doctor, when you are being a teacher, when you are being a, 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 a fisherman, where is Jesus in this? May you receive wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God. May you receive wisdom and, and the understanding of who Jesus is.
say it. Hide your say it. All too soon, camp has come to an end, and today is Sunday, the anointing and thanksgiving service. And speaking with us today is Reverend Jean Carr. By my hand, every record in any school that I will attend shall be broken. Say by my hand, every financial record in my family from today shall be broken. And again, say by my hand, say by my hand, any line that has been ruled that nobody has crossed in my family, by my hand, I cross it. Some of you, if nobody has done masters, you will do it. So 